Hi there, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, I'm going to cover my country number 92 to visit every single country in the world and that country is Panama. I started my journey to Panama from Paraguay actually as I left that country and I had a long flight going to Bogota, long way over there and then made my way to Panama. And as soon as I got into Panama, I soon realized that Panama is so much more expensive than many of the South American countries that I've visited in the past. The taxi costs about $33 US to go from the airport to our accommodation. And for our accommodation, I decided to use my Marriott e-certificate to get a free night stay at the W Panama, which turned out to be a very bad decision because this hotel was not the best hotel in the world. On the outside, it looks very pretty and the room is also very pretty. However, this hotel has a very snobby vibe to it and at night, we couldn't get any good night's sleep because it was so noisy in the other rooms. The next day, when we went to get breakfast, many of the servers were very greedy trying to pinpoint to you that you need to leave a tip. So that was very off-putting of them to really keep suggesting that you have to give them a tip. Most of the service there was not authentic except for one lady who was working in the buffet table. She was very nice, but the rest had that very slimy vibe that I just want your money and then you need to get the hell out. To make matters worse, they also put a hold in my room and the hold charges was not removed for up to two weeks, which is very annoying. After a bad experience with this Marriott Hotel, we took an Uber to go to our next accommodation, which is a Hampton Inn in Panama. And we were hoping to get some proper rest in that place because we've been traveling quite fast and we really needed some good night's sleep. Thankfully, the Hampton Inn in Panama was so much better. It's not as nice as W Panama, but it was more friendly and the amenities nearby was also better. In the evening, we tried a local restaurant which had really good customer service. However, the food was very expensive. So again, it's not really my favorite place to travel in the world just because I usually prefer countries that don't charge you a massive amount of money to eat. So in this case, Panama uses the US dollar. That's why everything's so expensive. The next day in the Hampton Inn, they provided us with breakfast as included in the accommodation. And the breakfast is a little bit of a free for all. So they're gonna put out food in the buffet table and whoever gets it first, gets it first. And me and Karen were lucky because we got all the good stuff and a lot of people who came in late, they got all the bad stuff that was left over. Now, our real purpose to going to Panama, besides the fact that I'm collecting countries, is to go and see the slots. So after breakfast, we grab an Uber to take us all the way to Gamboa, where the Gamboa Slot Sanctuary is located and we had booked an Airbnb there. I'm one of those paranoid people that had an experience in the past with Airbnbs where if you don't keep messaging the host, then there's a chance that by the time you get there, there's no one gonna open the door. So lucky for me, by the time I got there, the son of the owner let us in and it was an easy process. He was so nice too that he actually drove us to the Gamboa Sanctuary. We actually thought it was gonna be closed for that day because that's what the website said, but turns out the Gamboa Sanctuary was actually open. So by the time we got there, they told us that we probably have to pay to take this tram to take us to the sanctuary, but actually they didn't charge us, which was very nice. The slot sanctuary was just okay. It was really cool to see the slots, but aside from the slot, the other stuff to see there was kind of underwhelming. So they actually had a place where you can check out frogs as well as tortoises. And aside from that, it was not very big and it was not really the best place to visit. The slot was cool though. So I did like that part where you get to check out the slots. After taking the tram back to the starting point, which is the Gamboa Resort, we decided to eat lunch there, which was a bad decision. The service was so horrible. The people there just don't give a shit. After eating our lunch, we weren't very pleased and we decided to leave as fast as we can because this place is just awful. I'm so glad we did not book a night stay here because this place is just terrible. We decided to go take a nice walk back to our accommodation. So this time we didn't have a ride, so we just walked and it was actually a pleasant walk and we got to see some of the naturey parts of it and we actually saw some wildlife also by the road. There's like a lot of lizards all over the place. Now. The Airbnb that we're staying at, it's not the cleanest Airbnb in the world, but they did let us use the laundry machine to wash our clothes, which was great. However, there was a German couple that was also staying at Airbnb and they were pissed off because the owner wasn't there to open the door for them. And we didn't even know that they were there. So we didn't open the door until half an hour until they arrived. I think this couple is German and Swiss. They were not happy. When the owner got back home, you can tell that they were very unpleased with the owner. The owner was super nice to us though and we decided to buy dinner from the owner and the owner's dinner was so good, it was the best. And the next day for breakfast, we also ordered breakfast and again, it was really good as well. The next day, we decided to head back to Panama City because we had to go fly out of Panama the next day to go to Costa Rica. So we decided to take this local minibus 
and it was kind of a beat up minibus, but that's okay because we still got a scenic ride on the way back to Panama City. We got to check out the Panama Canal, which is nice. And the end point for the minibus is actually this giant mall. The mall was so huge. It was so busy. I wanted to eat there, but there was no place to sit. There were so many people. Karen was getting a little bit antsy, so we decided to just take an Uber to go to our last Airbnb that we're gonna be staying in Panama, which is this Airbnb near the airport. And turns out this Airbnb was fantastic. It was this old friendly lady that was really helpful. And she was very sweet. And when we told her we were starving, she got her little app and she was so pleased to use a little app to show us how to order food online. So we just gave her some cash, she ordered the food and we had a nice giant meal of chicken. And the nice thing about the Airbnb is also clean. The only downside was it was a little bit cold with the AC, otherwise it was a pretty good Airbnb just because it was close to the airport as well. So again, next day we went to the airport and the Panama City airport experience is not really the best, but it's okay. At least we had no trouble getting through security and before long we left the country. And I would say Panama is not really my favorite country in the world. The locals are really friendly and I like them a lot, but I think this is way too expensive of a country to visit for tourists. I think that's why most people who go here are more business people. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and don't forget to sign up to our travel and free newsletter where you can get a 10 step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for that newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.